Hello winners, this is your weekly video to help you win in life. Every week, we work very hard to bring you brilliant content so you can be winner in life. Please give us the thumbs up, subscribe and like this video so we can continue to produce great content for you every week. Today, we are going to cover about depression. Depression is a sign uh, of a mental illness that is getting more and more common. It can happen to anyone, your friends, family, even yourself. Today, we're going to share nine signs to know if someone is suffering from depression. This way, we can identify the signs and help the people who are suffering from depression or mental illness. Sign number one, feeling anxiety or sadness that doesn't go away. If someone is feeling a lot of sadness or anxiety that cannot be explained for an extended period of time, they may be suffering from depression. This is because most people generally experience more joy and positive feeling than feeling persistent sadness. So watch out when someone keeps feeling anxious, worried or sad. Sign number two, extreme mood changes. Another sign of depression or mental illness is when someone exhibits dramatic mood swings. Some moment may be very happy and another moment feeling very sad. We need to be mindful if someone is also easily triggered or I have unexplained bouts of angry outbursts um, within a short period of time. Sign number three, sleeping problems or insomnia. There is a close correlation between sleeping problem and depression. People who have depression have been reported to have sleeping problems or insomnia. Sleeping too little or too much is not a good sign. Therefore, while it's important to get import insufficient sleep for everyone, so do seek out help from health professional if you have been suffering from insomnia before it develops into a full depression. Sign number four, having difficulty to deal with daily life situation. If you notice someone having more and more difficulty dealing with life situation, example work, family, daily work or self-care, you may want to reach out to them to ask them to seek professional help. Sign number five, becoming antisocial or isolating themselves from others. When someone starts withdrawing or isolating themselves from others, it can be a sign of depression. Humans are generally social creatures and thrive when they are surrounded by key people. Therefore, it is crucial that we must try to get out and socialize if possible, instead of hiding away um, and worsen the situation. Sign number six, self-harm or suicide. Now, this is an even more serious sign. Um, when someone is suffering from depression or mental illness, they may start to self-harm or even attempt suicide in serious cases. It is important not to shame the person and let the person know it's perfectly fine to seek help. In fact, seeking help is a sign of strength and not a sign of weakness. Let them know there is no shame in their illness and they will be kept um, in confidentiality if they want to, unless they want to disclose to others. Sign number seven, alcohol or drug abuse. Another possible sign is the abuse of excessive alcohol or even drug. It is common that people who are suffering from extreme sadness or depression or anxiety use drugs and alcohol to cope. This is not sustainable in the long run can and may lead to other health problems. Therefore, it is important for them to seek for help. Before we get to the last two tips, we hope that you can support us if you find the video helpful to buy our book that we have put time to put together how to be insanely happy you may get this book at amazon.com today or buy it as a gift for your loved ones 
Sign number eight, unexplained pain or aches in the body. Mental illness is usually accompanied by physical body pain or aches. It may be very tight muscles or the person is feeling very, very tense. They may be suffering from pounding racing hearts, stomach upset, headaches for no clear medical reasons. So when a person keeps falling sick or a report pains, it may be a sign of mental illness. And here we are at the last sign number nine. It could be the loss in interest in things that they used to enjoy. If you start noticing your friends or close ones um, stopped enjoying the things that they used to like, or even stop grooming themselves and smell as if they have not washed themselves for a period of time, it could be also a sign of mental illness or depression because they become indifferent to their own appearance and also coupled with the refusal to participate in activities they used to like can be a telltale sign of mental illness. So, in short, um, if you see more of these signs, then it is important to seek for help.